but Berkeley Green. Trust mine. Oh, h- h- hello, John. It's it's Robert here. I phoned yesterday. I don't know if you've got a, a free moment at the moment. I've been looking at your literature. Really interesting. Yes. Yes. Th- th- thank you. Thank you very much. Um, um, I, I, I've got problems because I don't have the internet at home. Um, and with the lockdown, oh, right. I, <laughs> I've got real problems with that. But what I have managed to do is, before the lockdown, I managed to scan some of the literature, which is really interesting. Um, it, it says in the literature that true Christians um, are neutral in both politics and warfare. That's keep yourself in God's love, page 83, paragraph 21, which I made yes. a scan yes. of. Yeah. Uh, it's 2008. Um and there's another one, How to Remain in God's Love, 2017, page 97, paragraph 21, which says, quote, Jehovah's people are neutral in politics and war. Just as they do not kill, they do not support any organisation that kills people. Right. Um, but the, the looking at some of the older watchtowers, you did at the time of the First World War support the American military in the First World War in the Watchtower for the 15th of May 1918, page 6257, by promoting in the Watchtower magazine the purchase of Liberty Bonds or Liberty Loans. This was money you could give the American government to support the American military in the First World War. You, people so were... what's, the, what's the question then? Well, Jehovah's Witnesses aren't like the Quakers or the Christadelphians. They're not pacifists. They're not neutral in warfare or politics. They're they're involved surely in in the military. No. Right. Uh, how would you explain the, the that that watchtower from the? I think uh, you know as as uh, time goes on, uh, as Jesus, the light gets brighter and brighter. So obviously you're going to have some things change. But anyone I mean, could use that argument, they couldn't they? Un- in fact, they didn't fully understand neutrality until uh, just before the start of the Second World War. But 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 at, at, in the Second World War, in another watchtower, a few years after, the Second World War finished, as you know, in 1945. Well, in the watchtower for the 1st of June 1947, page 173, um, that watchtower talks about Jehovah's Witnesses working on military bases in canteens and also working in armaments factories producing instruments of war. It doesn't name the armaments company, but I found out it's the Taylorcraft Aircraft Corporation in Australia because this watchtower article, 1st of June 1947, it's, it's talking about the situation in Australia during the Second World War. And it's saying that Jehovah's Witnesses were working in armaments factories producing instruments of war. And the armaments company um, was the Taylorcraft Aircraft Corporation, owned by a very wealthy Jehovah's Witness called Mr. Taylor. His brother died in 1929, 1928 as a young man. He was testing a new plane called a Chummy and he died and crashed. So the other Taylor brother ran the company after his death all on his own. He died very aged. I think he died in the late 80s, aged about 90. Um, but during the Second World War, Taylorcraft was totally switched over to producing military aircraft for the Australian military. And, of course, Mr Taylor was a Jehovah's Witness who owned the Aircraft Corporation, very wealthy Jehovah's Witness. And he did what other Jehovah's Witnesses do today if they've got carpet cleaning companies or window cleaning companies, they employ other Jehovah's Witnesses. So there were numerous Jehovah's Witnesses working for Taylorcraft Aircraft Corporation during the Second World War. So, you know, there's two examples from the Watchtower where you were not neutral in the First World War, you were not neutral in the Second World War. They certainly were neutral in the Second World War, though. Well, how do you explain the fact that they were working in arms companies? This is a a question out of the blue, isn't it, really? I've got, you know... I haven't done any research on that at all. Would you like so to research it? It's a bit unfair to, you know, to pump this at me and then think I can just find an answer off the top of my head, which I can't. Right. Would you want to get do some research and get I can, back to I me? I can have a look. I can, I yes. can try and research yes. that. 
Yes. But as far as I was concerned, they were totally neutral in the Second World War. But it doesn't matter as far as you're concerned. That's irrelevant. The facts state that the Jehovah's Witnesses were supporting the American military in the First World War, watched our 15th of May 1918, page 6,257 of the reprints. Yeah, I say you can quote all these things to me, but... I'm I, quoting I, the Watchtower. No don't you, don't no you respect the Watchtower? I'd have to go through the Watchtowers myself. Right. The other watchtower relates to the situation in Australia during the Second World War, and it's two years after the end of the Second World War, almost. It's the watchtower for the 1st of June, 1947, page 173. You see, even, on even today, hang on, John... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sure, on. sure. <coughs> Pardon me. The watchtower 47... First of and June. The page number, and the page number is one seven three. I've only got a PDF copy of that. I've got an um, original bound reprint of the nineteen eighteen Watchtower, but the nineteen forty seven I'm working from a PDF. It's the first of June nineteen forty seven, page one seven three. Okay. Well, let me see if I can check that anyhow. Yes. Okay. Um, John. Um, yes. The Henrietta and Riley Trust. I've done some research on that. And they give all their money to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. It was um, set up in the 1940s by a woman who died. She left all her money in trust to the Watchtower, through uh, in, 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 indirectly to the Watchtower. Um, she set up a not-for-profit trust where all the share dividends from the investments go to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And I've got the tax records from the IRS, that means Inland Revenue Service, the American tax records, um, Henrietta M. Riley Trust is administered by a Detroit bank. They get a fee from that and they have to pay taxes on the share dividends. You have to pay tax. So that's how you can find out about the Henrietta M. Riley Trust. Well, they have investments in armaments companies. Companies that make armaments like Boeing and Northrop Grumman. They get, no they get share dividends from those companies and then they so, pay so the... What? And then they pay the benefits to the Watchtower. And I've got the Robert, tax records. Robert, 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 what's the point of these questions you're asking? Well, your, your Watchtower literature says How to Remain in God's, God's Love, published 2017, page 97, paragraph 21. Quote, Jehovah's people are neutral in politics and war. That just yes. as they do not well, kill, would, they do not support any organisation that kills people. But the Watchtower organisation kills people because it gets share dividends from arms companies today. Or at least, as uh, I've, got, um, I've got the tax have, records going back to no 2007, 2017. It's, uh, you know, the questions you ask me out of the blue, I, I can't just put my finger on things like that. You have to re give people... A chance to research yes, themselves. Yes, yes, okay. Of, of course, that's, so tot that's to totally fair. So how you said, and check on that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank well, you. Look, thank, thank you, John, for your help. Okay. Have you got my telephone number to get back to me? Hello, John? I don't, I don't think he bothered taking my phone number. 